Hey yo, YouTube was good. It's um your boy six on WY and um for the ninety percent of people who are scrolling through the video, uh please don't because the artist I'm about to talk about is pretty damn dope and if um you don't get that reference. Um uh, join the fucking Raguso family because the Raguso family is strong. Um but let's get into the actual video. Um today we'll be talking about Nico Raguso. Amazing TikTok artist. Now you guys know I don't like using the, the word TikTok artist, but um, I found him off of TikTok. He was my my first actual TikTok artist I liked. Um, there was a, another guy I listened to before him, Six Vibes. Um, I just kind of didn't like his music that much. But let's get into the video. <clears throat> One second. I got it. Punch some ice. <laughs> Let's get into his content creation side of things. Something of how content creation goes. Um, he's very good at making content. He's very good at getting you drawn to wanting to look at his videos and listen to his music. Um Amazing at doing that. His first song that blew him up was Wong Girl, amazing. Um, he started to become bigger and bigger and bigger. Or not bigger and bigger and bigger, but he's honored a big fan base because of it. Or not the a big fan base, so he's getting there. Um So our goal was to make it a Cole Bennett music video. It's starting to come true in terms of his fan base getting him up there because us, the Rebuso family, strong. It has even played in Brazil on the radio. Amazing. Um, but let's get into the songs of his. The songs of his, and sorry if I feel a little drained out. I've done this three fucking times. So last video was just shit, and the other two shit happened to two those. But one shot, two shot, blonde girl, toxic, douchebag, acid. Would you even care at all? Hypnotized, f um you two, G, uh, Jesus cries, and kill me if you care. The best songs in order to me are. Would you even care at all? Toxic, hypnotized, long girl, one shot, two shot, douchebag. A lot of fans like Acid, I just don't rate it as high as some fans do. I haven't listened to, to these two, and F2 is my least favorite. I have a big issue about F2, and I'll get into F2 in a minute. Um, oh, these songs. Um, he makes very, very good music. He, um, it's not unlike those Bader TikTok artists where they will get a good snippet in and then, um, make you listen to the song and like, oh, well, it's actually trash. It's that one or two good bars that they put on YouTube or TikTok, my bad. Um, it's an uh, amazing artist. I love a lot of his songs. Um, my issue is with his promoting too is this right people do several videos on the same songs every day or the same song and he will die um or he will like dilute sometimes and play and do other songs too every once in a while but uh but he does this for months right and it's like longer for three months it hasn't been actual three months for longer but you know what i mean he does it for long periods of time, so we're just hearing the same music over and over again on TikTok and on his videos. I'm like, dude, I love you to death. You was my favorite artist, but you need to release more songs quicker. I know this sounds a little hyper hyper critical because I was telling while our wild card to do what Nico's doing, but what I meant by that is to is um to Take one song and just freaking stick by it for a while, right? Not in the way that Nico does it, where he will literally spam that song in your ears for like a month and a half, right? He needs to release songs quicker. My my advice to you, Nico, would be to honestly uh, release a song, check so monthly check on um, the views and crap on it to um, Spotify, YouTube, and all of that shit. 
um, three weeks into the song and um, see how good it's doing. If it's doing good, then you keep pushing it. But if it's not as good, then move on to the next song because that way you get more songs out there and you do find that song that does work. Um, speak, speaking of songs, let me get to uh, F or FU2. FU2 is Nico's worst song and it thoroughly disappoints me and as a Nico Riguso fan, right? Nico Riguso um, made the song or made a verse in August, where it goes like this: love sex, but she says it's a charm. I'm fucking upset. I see the cuts on her arm, <laughs> passed out. Tell her daddy she's safe. She took the fast route back to her place. All right, no, it's I took the fast route back to her place. Amazing, amazing, um, bar. Right, our lyrics, I don't know what um you wanna call it. He made it earlier that morning, um, and he just decided to um sing it to us car. Amazing. So what does he do? A lot of fans t- tell him how much um he likes it, so oh shit, like my fans really like this song. So why not put this or why not just lazy it and this is honestly and keep in mind I am brutal on these artists. Because I want them to improve. Uh, he's like, oh, fuck. So let me lazy it. And goes. And um, puts it on FU2. He doesn't make a full song to it. He just, oh, uh, while his homie Ox is, is uh, making a dope song called FU2. I haven't listened to Ox enough to say how um, good he is here. And the song, he's decent. But, um, but he... he He's like, okay, well, let's just put those lyrics on to there. Here is, let me play the original. Snippet, and then I want you to listen to the FU2 verse. Uh, listen and bathe in that glory of that masterful freestyle he did. Amazing. I will give you five seconds. Now, I want you to hear the F2 version of of the song. Why? Why? The lyrics don't even fit with the beat. If you even did something like hypnotize, right? Or would you even care at all? And what I meant to say is that if um you use any of your normal cadence and um your your um, normal flow, I don't know exactly how to say it, but you know what I mean. Um, you know. The way you usually make your music sound. If um, you did that at all. Right? And not use that beat. We'll do him in If you did that. The, the, the song would be 10 times better, bro. Right? Those um, lyrics would be 10 times better. I feel like I, I didn't mean to say the song. I, I'm at the lyrics. You, that was a slap in the face to us as um the Raguso fan because you're like, oh well, you guys love the song a lot, or these lyrics. So I'm just going to quick copy and paste them onto this song that doesn't even fit the shit. Please turn those lyrics into an actual full foot song. I promise you. I promise you, the song will will get out there if you do that. I promise you, song will blow up. It will get bigger. Make an actual song with those lyrics, and I'm not a slap in the face. 
Um, he also did a song with Wildcard, amazing. His uh, his verse. After me listening to it enough, I love Wildcard's verse, and Wildcard never usually gets shown up by his features. But Nico killed it. Nico was the best person on the song, right? Amazing, and that's why you see a lot of people like you know on the song and TikTok. When they use the sound, they do Nico's verse because Nico's verse, in my opinion, is the better one. Not by a landslide, but it's just better. You can tell, right? Um, amazing song. Kudos to you both for making another banger for my playlist. Uh, I have done this three times, like I said, so I'm going to just kind of move it on really quickly. Um, it is a very good song, and um, would you even care? Oh, amazing, and your TikTok um snippets gets me into you. Um, uh, I like your cadence and and how you do your music with the hip nautic shit. You want to rap, bro? Please don't rap. I've listened to that one rap verse. It wasn't that good. I don't think you can rap. As a fan, I'm telling you, I love your music. Do, do not do that. Thank you. Please, 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 God, don't. Don't let me go do a rap song. Please don't. And I'm does it. Fuck. Speaking of cringy m music he's made, Maze. Maze, I just found, or I found that shit the other day. A funny fucking song. Um, it is one of those songs like that Charlie Poof song that in years to come, once he blows up, you'll say, oh, you'll say, oh, it's fucking funny as fuck. Um, that he made a song like this. Um, amazing song, amazing. All right, I'm not amazing, but it's so bad, it's amazing kind of shit, right? Um, last but not least, I'm going to say this in the YouTube video because. Ray Rocky hasn't made a song, but there's an artist called Ray Rocky. I will get to him in a little bit on another YouTube video that's fully dedicated to him. Ray Rocky, very fucking talented. There are some things that tell me that this kid is going to blow the fuck up. He has a lot of good attributes. There are some stuff he needs to fix, but um, for the most part, very good. His voice... And Nico on the song would be amazing. Nico, please, please make a song with him. I will ask you every day like I have been doing to make, to to have you guys make the song. Um, or to make a song together. Um, like I've um, said, um, or I haven't said this in this video, my bad. But what I do is, is that I ask him every day that Rare makes a new uh, TikTok, and I add him and say to make a song and if um makes multiple TikTok vids a day or right, on that day then I'll add him on um, one of those TikTok vids and go um, make a song with them and I'm going to do it every day until it comes I don't know if I'm you charge for a future or a feature or not uh, that's none of my business if I'm you do I um understand you need to make the dough so charging for features okay in my opinion but you guys need to hop on a song. I'm telling you that that'll blow up. Um, anyways, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great night um, and have a happy rest. Or, um, have a happy rest of your holidays. Um, I say one last thing. Again, to drive the point across. FU2, Nico, that verse was fucking horrible. Make it into an actual song that us as fans deserve from you because I know that you can better on it. I love the Raguso family. Stay strong. We'll see you guys later. Or I will buy.